we're in a very good position. Cases are falling, hospitalizations are falling, and critical care has remained steady the whole way through. Um, so we're in a very good position to be having this conversation. And obviously it's ongoing across government during the week. My view, Pat, rather than speculating on individual measures, because I don't think it'd be fair for me to be giving people hope or false hope that might get dashed at the end of the week or whatever. So rather than speculating on individual measures, can I say, as an approach to this now, we introduced uh, emergency powers. We introduced very difficult measures um, during COVID for public health reasons. My view is, and people have people have trusted us to exercise those powers um, in, in the public interest. I believe that we have a duty to relinquish those powers and to end the difficult restrictions the moment the public health rationale is no longer in support of them. Mm. So the question, the, the conversation that I'm having with the department and, and that I'm having with the public health teams is for measures that we continue with, um, we, uh, we need an absolutely clear public health rationale for them. And wherever there isn't a public health rationale, then they should be dispensed with at the earliest possible opportunity. We have to be very conscious of people's civil liberties, their economic liberties, their freedoms being restricted. Um, we also have to be very conscious that we don't want to um, move too quickly and squander the very hard-won gains that, that, that the country now has.